five, two members of the city's Fire and Police Commission will resign tomorrow morning. They are making it clear this is a protest of a law which limits the commission's power. As Bill Miston explains, there were strings attached. Yeah, this law changed the way uh, revenue is shared in the state and opened the door for the city of Milwaukee to levy its own sales tax. But it stripped powers from the FPC when it comes to how and who makes rules for the fire and police departments. The chair and vice chair of the city's fire and police commission are resigning after the stroke of midnight Friday in protest because of the strings attached to the city's deal it cut with Republican lawmakers for shared revenue and a sales tax levy. Chair Ed Pallone and Amanda Avalos released a statement Thursday saying they could no longer be a part of the rulemaking and oversight board that was reduced to a pawn in someone else's game, end quote. I don't know if I was surprised necessarily. At a Crime Stats press conference Thursday, Mayor Johnson said the Act 12 law stripping powers from the Fire and Police Commission wasn't what Pallone and Avalos signed up for. Before Act 12, rulemaking for police and fire fell under the FPC's authority to approve, reject, and make changes. Act 12 took that away, and the department chiefs now have the authority. I think uh, the thing that needs to be pointed out here uh, is that these are policy positions that uh, Republicans for years, possibly, uh, wanted to implement uh, on the city of Milwaukee. But the city was over a financial barrel regarding needing more shared revenue and creating a sales tax levy to address the pension crisis and doomsday scenarios of cuts to police, fire, and city services. Republicans saw that as a wedge, an opportunity to get some of those policy things uh, uh, pass, and that's exactly uh, what happened. As we all are adjusting to the implementation, I think, of Act 12. As such, the city's considering a new law telling the department chiefs to submit reports of new policies to the Common Council and FPC, with the FPC providing analysis of that policy. It was held before the Public Safety and Health Committee for more research to be done. This is a, a level of transparency that we just want to create as we have to move forward in a different uh, world now with Act 12. Now, Mayor Johnson says he hopes to put forward nominations for those open positions on the FPC very soon. You'll hear from outgoing chair Ed Fallone tonight at Fox 6 News at 10. Tonight, in uh, just about an hour, uh, the FPC is set to take up resolutions to elect a new chair and vice chair. Reporting in Milwaukee, Bill Misson, Fox 6 News. Bill, thanks.